Hi, my name is Jared Decker, and today we're going to talk about Adobe Lightroom. I've been bouncing back and forth between Lightroom CC and Lightroom Classic for my main workflow for ages, and I've finally made a decision. I spent hours last week creating a video about my switch from Lightroom Classic to Lightroom CC, and in this video I discussed the features of Classic that I miss. But after doing just a tad more research, I realized that I could have the best of both worlds. So here it is. And my workflow consists of using my iPad for sorting and rating, and my desktop for heavy edits. But with CC rapidly catching up with Lightroom Classic as far as editing capabilities, I realized that a CC workflow made more sense for me than my current system of using Classic with synced collections for use in Lightroom Mobile. And I wanted all of my files in Adobe's cloud for full res access anywhere with Wi-Fi or a cell signal. But even more importantly, I'm tired of Classic's really crappy performance. Now, last year I upgraded my iMac and it ran really good, but for some reason it's deteriorating. It's almost like when Adobe releases performance updates, my system performs worse. But at the same time, I also really valued a few of the features of Lightroom Classic, such as printing. But I couldn't find a way to access my full res files in Classic after they were all imported into CC and into the local folder structure that I had set up in the CC preferences. So wondering if I had made the wrong call, I decided to look for last minute ideas, and I found one that I think will lead me to the perfect workflow, a marriage between CC, mobile, and classic, until Adobe can get their shit together and make one perfect program. Now I wanna advise against this for anyone who is not totally on top of the storage structure. A mistake could leave you with doubles or triples of your files. This is designed to work for three storage locations, Adobe's cloud, my local storage, and one more backup drive. Now everything I import will go through CC. That way, if it's via computer, iPad, or iPhone, it all goes to the same place, including the pics I take with my phone. Everything will be uploaded to the cloud and also stored locally as I specified in the CC preferences. My plan and current practice was to have this local drive backed up as well with cloning software, but here comes the trick. Now Classic will locally store any files that come through sync. The albums you create in CC sync to Classic. So everything I import to CC will come to Classic with this method. So what I will do is set my Classic preferences to save synced files on a separate backup drive. And I will end the cloning method that I used before. So now I have a cloud copy, a local copy, and a backup copy, and I have full res access in each program. And I'm realizing that with Silicon Max, my main classic issue of performance may finally be solved, but this way it doesn't matter, and it's one less excuse for me to buy another Mac. So if you like editing on mobile, and you can handle this cloud storage costs, I highly recommend using desktop CC, mobile, and classic with this workflow. If you're used to using Classic and you just want to access smart previews on your mobile device, stick with Classic and sync collections. But note, you will not have full res access on mobile devices or in CC. And of course, if you have performance issues in Classic, the CC workflow is recommended as well. Hopefully these programs will all come together soon and make life a little simpler in a very complex time. Now, if you're currently based in Classic and you want to transfer your photos to CC and begin this workflow, here's how you do it. And these directions are to transfer the entire catalog. First, you need to make sure that every photo in your Classic library is in a collection and synced to Lightroom CC. To check this, I'll show you a trick. Go to Lightroom Classic. Under Catalog, you'll see all photographs and all synced photographs. If the number of synced photographs is lower, then you know you have some that are not in collections and not synced to CC. To quickly find out which photos these are, click All Synced Photographs and select All or push Command A. Now without touching any other buttons, single click on All Photographs. Go to Edit in the menu bar and select Invert Selection. Now the photos you have selected are the non-synced photos. To make these easier to find, before pushing any other buttons, add a color label to these photos that you're not using for any other purpose. In my case, I'll use blue. And now you can filter by blue photos, and the shown photos are the ones that are not in collections. Simply add these to a collection, and you're good to go. Once the number of all synced photographs and all photographs is the same, you know you're all set. Now you can import these photos into CC from their current folder location. CC will recognize that there's already a smart preview and it'll add a copy to the cloud and also to the folder that you have specified in your preferences, 
Make sure this is not the same folder as the one they're coming from. After this, you will have three copies of your file, the cloud, the new location, and the original local where they're coming from. You can set these up to be the three locations that I mentioned earlier. If you don't want the extra copy downloaded, simply uncheck the preference box for local storage within CC. But do know that this means that CC won't have access to a full res copy without downloading it during the workflow. Now I know this may sound really confusing and overwhelming, so please reach out with any questions before you begin the setup and I'll respond as soon as I can. All right, if this was helpful, please click the thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you next time.